Boom, two slaps, three slaps, four slaps. Warden goes to Eternal Tome, but he legit dies. He's, he's dead. He's actually dead as the Eternal Tome pops. I've never seen the Grand Warden with an Eternal Tome equipment die through ability. We are back, ladies and gentlefish, with the next matchup today, TWB versus We Are Warriors. I think this is in the Cosmo League. We got TWB in first with a little zappy zappy quake action. Okay. I'll get the war bot and everything set up after this first attack. Queen on the right side, a couple super barbs, seven root riders on this attack. Interesting. Healer puppet, also very interesting. Healing tome. Do we have any wall breaker for this part? Yes, we do. Ice golem in to help out. Queen gonna have access to these inferno towers. Maybe if she steps perfectly. King wrap around the top side of the base here, he'll be able to fight the enemy king. Send two headhunters to help. Root Rider Spam City, here we go. Spam City, Apprentice Warden, Grand Warden, we got the Healing Tome. Remember, Queen has that Healer Puppet. We'll see if she actually gets good value with it. Ice Golem freezes up, Queen and a Headhunter fighting the enemy champion. Nice, CC troops going to the Queen, that's probably better than anything else. Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. Doesn't catch the Battle Blimp in the Warden ability. Ooh. Still rage up those Yetis and Invis, and they go directly for the Town Hall. Boggers. Boggers. Down goes the bottom tower. Still gotta work on those ice golems. Queen still has her ability with the healer puppet. The town hall did not go down. Maybe not so, Poggers. Awkward. We're gonna freeze. That's our last spell. We still got a king ability. Where the heck is he? He's in the mix with everybody else. Super barbs on the bottom side. We'll get the town hall for sure, but can we survive the giga blast, the giga poison, and get the three star? Uh... We don't be able to reach the scatter shot. That'll be nice. There's a tornado trap on the bottom side. Queen can reach the scatter. We'll pop her ability. She'll have the healer puppet. Why do they spawn like in front of her? Yeah, that's actually garbage. Pop the RC ability. We got a few defenses there, but the multi archer tower hitting one of our healers. Royal champion and king are going to go down. It's up to the queen and her two healers from the healer puppet. Down goes that multi archer tower. We got archers on the right with a wizard as well. 50 seconds on the clock. Go queen, go queen, go. We get the multi. King still alive with a phoenix. Never mind, he's dead as heck. Phoenix distracting. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. They should fix the healer puppet spawn. Like, it should always try to spawn behind the queen. For real. But this is a three-star, man. Nice job from TWOB to kick things off here. A three-star to start the match. Interesting looking base here. Three multis. Town hall in the middle with a multi. No spell towers there. No, we got the rage over here. Queen on the right side of the base. What do we got? Healer puppet. Vamp stash. Yo, what in the world? Who let this guy cook? Rage gem as well. Interesting. Queen going straight in toward a monolith. Perfect pathing. Might need a freeze. Or the invis. That works. Sure. Sure, sure. Healer puppet on a full queen charge is an interesting choice. We're going to try to get rid of this lower cannon. Headhunter in there. Help fight the king. Sure. Free spell. Queen going into a lot of damage. We need that rage tower to expire. But we're going to have to keep using spells. That rage was late. Even the freeze was late. Rip the queen ability. Healer puppet, hello. One of the healers is going to die right away. Gosh, I feel like the healer puppet is just so bad. This queen perfectly path in for the town hall. We've had the flame flinger on the left, getting a couple cannons. Now the eagle. King on the bottom side of the base. The queen going to go. She's not going to go for the town hall. He didn't expect the Teslas. Dude, she's going to dip out. Here we go with the hybrid. Queen's gonna dip out. She's not going for that town hall. This is about to get spicy, bro. And we still gotta fight CC troops. The Royal Champ is gonna get stuck on a Lava Hound. This is awkward. There's a poison. Warden ability. King still vibing on the left. Get a couple Hog Riders going to the town hall. We're gonna rage. No freezes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, he gets it. Wow. This. I think the Royal Champion went over there and slapped it once or twice. Champion. Still at full health with the fox. Queen is low. She's okay. Probably because of that healer puppet keeping her alive, right? Royal champion goes invisible. King's dead. Warden's about to go down. RC pops ability. Get through the multi. Yes. Two expos stay alive. I don't know if the queen can stay up for everything. She can reach everything. I don't know if she stays alive. Scattershot doing a lot of damage right now. Healer's trying their best to keep her alive. Oh, it's so close. Trying to distract the archer tower, but he did that way too early with the archers. He's already deployed everything. Nothing else he can do. Two expos might be too much for the queen to handle. 
Unless the healers get her all the way back up to full health, which they might. They might. In that case, as he has the time, he can't reach these two buildings. She's going to have to walk all the way around. This is going to get awkward. This might end up being a time fill. Well, she just can't reach the spell factory. Ugh. He should have saved those two archers, man. He's actually going to 99. No, he's not even going to get this. He's going to 98. Yikes. Time fail for them. They fall short with two stars at 98%. Drago is in. What do we got? What do we got? Lalo with four invis. It's a blizz. Cool. Pops a blimp just before the poison tower goes off. Beautiful. We'll get the scatter shot. We get through the wall. We can fight these CC troops. He's gonna chain the poison tower. Does he take it off? Does he take it out? <gasps> oh, they're not raged up anymore, but they might still take out the poison. Take out the inferno tower on the left. Let's go, bro. That was. Hoggers blizz value. Yes, sir. It's just a simple blizz. It wasn't even like a full-on super archer blimp where you have to invest all the spells either. That was good blizz value. Alright, I'm a fan. Queen on the right side of the base. I'm not a fan of this. She might go to ability early. And he didn't even freeze the can. <laughs> oh, swag freeze. We dropped the warden with the queen and she already used her ability. The Sui is supposed to get the Town Hall, and dude, there's... I don't know. I think the King deployment's late. I think the Expo, the Ricochet Cannon are gonna end up killing his Queen unless he pops the Warden ability. He's probably already planning on doing that. The Eagle actually locked onto the Queen, bro. Wait, it hit the Warden twice and the Queen once, and he pops the Warden ability because he got scared. I think he didn't even need the Warden ability yet. Dude, I don't know if he gets this Town Hall. I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Oh my gosh, the queen's going down, and now he doesn't have a Grand Warden to help the balloons. Uh... Guys? We might have just seen the best Blizz value ever at Town Hall 16, followed up by the biggest throw. He's gotta go into save the two-star mode. This is awkward. He sends the champion and the Lava Hound from the bottom side. He's waiting a long time. Hopefully that haste stays there long enough. Uh, and if the sweeper goes down, do they retarget to something else? They do. Oh, he's whiffing hard. And he's only got one balloon. He threw it. He threw it. Champion for the win. No way. She just came out of nowhere. And path to the town hall to save the day. <gasps> How? She knew he needed help. All the balloons went left, but the champion went up. Woo! Oh my gosh. The champion just saved him. Jeez. And he actually still manages to get good percent. How? I don't know. Almost 90 if he has enough time. Not quite. 89. Jeez. Blazer X is in with an early blimp. Ooh. Ooh. Super archers. Ooh, tornado. They're not in it. They're not in the tornado. Nice. Blown spells. Invis. Rage upon. Trying to just delete the core of the base. Cool. Another invis. He's getting good value here. They almost took out that extra Inferno Tower there. Off the chain. Fight the Barbarian King, sure. Gonna invest the last Invis just to get a Mortar? I feel like that wasn't worth it. Sometimes you gotta, you, you, you can be willing to save that last Invis, you know? We're gonna spam all the Root Riders. Warden with a Rage Gem, no Healing Tome. Everything else pretty classic. Healers to help out. Sure. This one healer staying on two super archers is kind of wonky, but oh well, who cares? Here we go, just spam city into the left side of the base. Oh my gosh, those super archers went over and took out that multi early, that's cool. Pop the warden ability? Why? 
Wait, where's the warden? The, the warden's... Huh? Bro, how did his warden die early? <laughs> Uh-oh. Champion on the top side of the base. His warden just popped ability, and it almost looked like he died through ability. I might have to rewatch that and figure out what just happened. King has ability. Root Riders are thinning out like crazy. We've got no spells. Headhunter went straight for his warden. That's so unfortunate. Bro, champion's healthy with the fox. Queen's actually healthy, too. No healer puppet, though, so it's not ideal. Tee hee. Tee hee. Wait, I gotta rewatch that to see how the warden actually died. I know it's a headhunter, but it, something felt weird. Champion's got her ability. Queen's got her ability. Does this have a chance of working? It actually might. We got an E Titan on the outside of the base. I think he sent the headhunters way too early. Like, way too early, bro. You just swagged both your headhunters, and you needed those. Ugh. Queen popping through the wall. Champion goes invisible. The other stuff's distracting. We get through the enemy champion. He's got it. He's got it, bro. It's a three star. Wow. All right. GG's to Blazer X. Sam is in for TWOB. With some zap. With some Lalo. What did he get? A rage tower? An expo? And what was in the middle there? An inferno tower? I think so. Flame Flinger on the right. We're doing a little suey now. Okay. Okay. Golem, Queen, Unicorn. King on the left. Sure, sure, sure. King will take out the Ricochet Cannon. He'll probably pull the CC troops out as well. Those goblins. Not getting the storage, but that's fine. I think Queen needs to walk that way anyways. King gets the Ricochet Cannon. Queen. Golem just chilling, walking toward the right side. Poison spell. Uh, maybe he should have saved it. I don't know. Now he's got to fight the lava pups with no poison. Ricochet cannon bounces off the golem and hits the queen. That's a LOL kind of moment. Uh, queen's gonna have to fight all these pups one by one. Flame flinger still flinging. Bro, champion with the skeleton spell. She makes it all the way. The scatter shot goes invisible. Queen has to pop ability before getting to the queen. I think he wanted queen to make it all the way to the queen. Champion gets the scatter shot. We got it. Can she pull the poison tower? That would actually be bonus value. Let her pull the poison. She does. Clutch. Now we can law low without worrying about the extra poison there. That's actually really nice. Here we go with the law low. Good thing he was patient. He still ended up killing the enemy queen there. Poggers. Super minions out of the flame flinger. If they can pick up the scatter shot as well, I'm loving this. Hashtag not sponsored by McDonald's, but I'll say I'm loving it. A lot of red bombs. Woo, he had to pop that warden ability early. Good thing he saw it. If he waited one more second, every balloon would be dead. The last super minion picks up the scatter shot. We send an extra group of balloons for the Inferno Tower. Need to get that Inferno Tower, or else it could be a defense. We got a random Lava Hound still alive. Do those balloons get it with no spells? Uh, they get there. They get a shot off. Is three shots enough? Anybody get an extra shot? No. One more balloon for the win. For the win. One balloon and a dream. Get there. Get there. Get there. We believe. We believe. He gets it. Ayo. <laughs> the clutch balloon. I think he would have had it with the warden and the owl anyway. But it's funny seeing the one balloon get there and take it out. 99% and 100. Another triple for TWOB. We are warriors. Three star here and we can still be all tied up. I think we are warriors actually would have the lead on percent. Skeleton spell. Oh, we're going with spam city here. Look at that army comp, bro. Only three units. I like it. Nice and simple. Couple E Titans. Couple Root Riders. One Apprentice Warden. And boom. He's deployed everything. King, Queen, Warden, straight up the gut with the Log Launcher. We'll save the champion for a little bit later. Some skeleton spells to help distract. We got two rages. We got a lot of freezes. One poison spell. There are the freezes. Poison tower going off. What do we have on the Warden? We got a healing tome. We got a healer puppet, of course. Best equipment in game. Right behind the giant arrow. There's the Warden ability. I'm gonna heal us up through the middle section of the base. Champion on the top side. I am surprised he didn't bring any headhunters on this, though. You know? King ability going off late. We got the king bug. He's utilizing it, of course. Who wouldn't? 
Champion gets through the monolith. King Bug's helping to clear the core right now. Queen still has that healer puppet whenever she needs it. She's at full health right now. Yeti's trying to fight the enemy Barbarian King. Doing a lot of damage to him, actually. Champion finds the Tornado Trap. She's spinning in circles. Got the Diggy to help support her. No Spirit Fox. He's probably upgrading it. Diggy will stun that Scattershot on the right side of the base, though. Queen pops her ability. Got the two healers from the Healer Puppet that are going to carry her through the rest of the middle section of the base here. Boom, boom. Oh, the Champion died. Awkward. Awkward. If that Champion got through that bottom right section, I think this would have been a three-star. Ooh. Well, that just fizzled out fast. Rip. Rip. Big oof. E-Titan might get an extra storage here, but uh, that's a huge defense for TWOB. They now have the lead by a star. That quick, get the multi. Get the uh, ricochet cannon. Cool. Cool. Barbarian Super Barbs on the left. Here. Ice Golem. King, Queen. Healer Puppet again! Bro, we've actually been seeing the Healer Puppet a bunch today. Healing Tome on the Grand Warden. Ice Golem is in. Head Hunter. Ice Golem freezes. Cool. Lex Toast yawning, so he's going to take a sip of coffee while we continue to watch the setup. <sighs> Hashtag Dunkin' Donuts. Sponsor me, please. Somebody sponsor me. Ricochet Cannon on the right. Super Minions on defense. We already used our poison spell kind of early there. We're spamming everybody from the top side now. Sure. Queen with Unicorn still chilling. There's a Tornado Trap spinning us around. We got a Battle Blimp, not a Log Launcher. All right. All right. We're still just chilling. He's being patient with this battle blimp. There you go. Oh. <laughs> he even used a Coca Loon, and the blimp still. It's two sinking air mines right away. <laughs> no way, bro. Oh, he got bamboozled. Pops Warden ability has to get to the town hall manually. Oh, I'm glad I was watching that blimp. Freeze on the Town Hall, on the Monolith. He's in a little bit of trouble. Oh, gosh. We need the Champion to take the Town Hall. She's distracted by skeletons. We invis her, even though I think the Spirit Fox just went invisible at the same time. That might have been Swag Invis, dude. He might actually have a rough time getting this Town Hall. Oh, he missed the Monolith. Spirit Fox goes down. Apprentice Warden Champion. Champion has ability. The Skeleton Spell actually distracting. No, Monolith still locks on. Champion gets it. Woo! Ooh, that was sketchy. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Yeti's on the right with the Warden Queen, and the Healer Puppet might just carry him through the rest of the attack. Never mind, the Healer from the Healer Puppet dies. We got Diggy to stun. Dude, he might still 3-star. I think he does. What the heck? What the heck? Who needs a blimp? He just swagged it completely. The Yeti... Gets locked onto by the monolith, and that means the Yeti Mites will actually go take out the monolith while the Queen's at full health thanks to the Healer Puppet. Best equipment in the game by far. Down goes the monolith, down goes the gold storage. Who cares about the blimp? It's a three star anyway. We are warriors with their fourth attack. I think they need to triple their last two attacks to have a chance here. Let's see what they can do with seven E Dragons. Rocket balloons for an air defense. Cool, cool, cool. Yeti Mites also helped to take out that wizard tower. Very nice. Very nice. E-Drags from the top left. Got a log launcher. He Okay, he switches it to a blimp. Double lightning spells for a sweeper. Healing Tome on E-Drags. I actually like it. Healer Puppet, of course. Why not? Off the warden ability. Double Rage. Here we go. Here we go. What in the world pulled the Lava Hound? He's got the Diggy on the Grand Warden. <laughs> that pulled the Lava Hound out of the CC. Oh, bro, you noob. If you're gonna do E-Drags like this, you gotta take an air pet with the Warden. Still love you, though. This might actually work. Hold on. Rage these E-Drags through the core. Double freeze. E-Drags. Go boom. Yes, get the Monolith. What else can they get? What else can they get? 
What else can they get? Get the eagle. Get the single target Inferno Tower. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. King Queen on the right side of the base. World Champion with the fox. With the fox. We're not going to get the single. Awkward. Ooh. That was a nice bounce, though. We got some value there. King still vibing. Test the farm on the bottom side. Champion with the fox has to clear the core. Uh, there's King ability. He is just picking the worst walls possible. RC has to pop her ability. The Spirit Fox already died. This is a fail. Rip, we are warriors, man. Big rip. Yeah, that Fox got bamboozled. Queen has ability. Gonna end up being low percent, though. Rip. TWOB starting to run away with this. Oh, wait! The healer puppet to save the day! Just kidding. Don't think it really did anything. Awkward. Down goes the last minion at 78%. TWOB with their final attack. Can they hit the 14 star war here today? They might just be able to. We got healers, we got root riders. We got two clone spells. Wait. Hello, Teslas. You trying to pull the poison? He does. Wait. Battle blimp. One seeking air mine. Dies early. Double clone. Into the gap. Rage upon. Take the town hall. Take the monolith behind it as well. I like that. Alright. Alright. Cool. I vibe with that blimp. Warden. Rage gym. Healer puppet, of course. Why not? Why not? These guys know something we don't. Where is this warden going, bro? What the? Oh, he's following the two super archers. Root riders, king, healers. Here we go. Here we go. Root riders, bust through the wall, please. Thank you. Baby dragon on the outside. The king actually walked all the way around. That might be good. We'll see. We'll see. Invis spell. No, he really wants the king inside. Okay. King will help fight the Ice Golems. Champion's gonna be on the outside. Sure. We got the Warden ability to pop. 90 seconds on the clock. It's looking decent so far. Looking decent. And a Headhunter. Warden ability. Yes, sir. Headhunter's in the Warden ability. Look at this Headhunter go. Damage the Queen a little bit. Pull some traps. That's poggers. It almost took the queen out for him. Root Rider is still just vibing, going through wall after wall after wall. King's still alive. I think King's going to have the uh, gauntlet glitch here as well whenever he decides to pop the king ability because we used ward ability first. Row of champion with the fox. Oh, the fox got locked onto by the cannon. Adios, fox. 52 seconds. Time's really his only concern. And I think he has plenty of it. Right? Or am I crazy? Pop the champion ability. She'll take out the queen here, but the multi archer tower is going to absolutely wreck that champion. Dude, just go ahead and pop your king ability. What are you waiting for? My guy. There it is. Queen behind, very healthy as well. 27 seconds. Should be fine, unless he has to end up beating on some random walls. 21, 20, 19, 18. Still got to get this builder hut. Got to go around for the storages. Root Riders just opening up all the walls. Pop the Queen ability. Healer Puppet coming in clutch right here. Down goes the Builder Hut, and he's got it. TWOB with a 14-star performance, and they win. We are warriors. <laughs> Another Healer Puppet. <laughs> Zap Quick on one side. Zap Quick on the other side. Sweet. That's a lot of witches here. Eric would be proud. Eric would be proud right now. Healer Puppet, Rage Gym, maxed out. Here we go. Here we go. Apprentice Warden to help out. Root Riders chilling, doing their thing. Witches in behind, cleaning up all the trash buildings. Log Launcher busting through the walls. Coolio. Coolio. Poison Tower about to pop off. Ice Golems in the defensive clan castle. Sure. Warden ability. 
So I just go with King ability first. Not going to take advantage of the, the bug. You pop Warden ability first. It's actually kind of ideal. He kind of let everything die. Why are you holding the Warden ability so long? Could have had like a million Root Riders alive if you popped it earlier. That's awkward. I feel like this fizzles out now. No King bug. No Root Riders alive. No chance of three stars. Oh, but we got a healer puppet. Hold on. That'll change the tide of the attack. Never mind. Champion from the right side of the base with the fox. He'll take out the builder hut. Got a headhunter to help out. This fizzles out big time. TWOB pulled way out ahead here after uh, the sixth or seventh attack of the match. GG's to them. How much percent can this homie pick up? Champion Spirit Fox gonna be able to get a couple more buildings. Got the wizard on the top side of the base, got the archer on the left, got the witch on the bottom side, and he's trying to get that OP 69% attack, and he will. He might get more than that. There's 71. Fox goes invisible to get the multi. Wizard gets another storage. Witch will go down, archer will get the building on the left. Do, 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 do. Let's see how much he gets. Are you really going to sit here and get every single building? Oh my goodness. Worth it. Even though it doesn't matter. Probably like an 80%. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. Why do you want to watch the archer for 20 seconds? Thank you. Thank you. 79% and it's a victory for TWOB. 14 to 11, 97.8 to 86. GG.